<clears throat> so quick review of the agenda tonight. Um, <clears throat> we have just one applicant site plan review for 838 and 846 Belmont Street. J. Kane Holmgren Engineering is representing. If you are here for 1315 Main Street Teen Challenge, that has been continued. This will not be heard this evening. All right, and I will do a roll call. Where did my Zoom go? Okay. <clears throat> so, roll call Larry Hassan? Here. Yolanda Spinola? Here. James Sweeney? Here. Marty Crowell? Here. Tony Gonzalez? Here. All board members are present. Um, Evan, I don't see any um, street acceptances. First, we will do um, a motion to accept last month's meeting minutes. Motion to accept October me uh, meeting minutes. Second. Okay, roll call. Larry Hassan? Yes. Yolanda Spinola? Yes. Larry James Sweeney? Yes. Marty Corwell? Broly? Yes. No, Tony you said Scott. it right the first time, Tony. Broly. <laughs> Thank Crow. you. Broly. Crow. Tony Gonzalez, yes. Are you serious? Crow? Yes, it's Crow. Okay. Uh, the L E is confusing <laughs> me. Crow League, L E Y, but Crow. Okay, got it. Um, so the minutes have been accepted. <clears throat> is uh, the representative ready? All right. So Scott is the one that's going to present the only agenda item. Um, but he had a site. Plan review in Taunton at 5.30. He said he would be here, but he might be calling in. So I don't see him yet. So I don't know if you guys want to give him a couple minutes. Absolutely. Or... Okay. It's only 6.02. We'll give Scott a couple minutes. Um, is is he the only one in attendance? I believe so. I believe so. Is is Matthew one of the applicants? or? Oh, I, I see Scott down. here. Move them over. Yeah. Scott's coming over now. Hi, Scott. Can you hear us? I can, Madam Chair. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Um, is is Matthew part of your team? Uh, no. Okay, so he's just observing. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Good evening, Matthew. So, um, so Scott, I see that this is a proposal to construct a 17,000 square foot two-story medical office building on Belmont Street. Perfect. Heavily, tra heavily traveled traffic street. Um, while you're doing your presentation, can you speak to the... Um, Existing curb cuts, the sure. sidewalks, um, your plan to work with DOT, and yep. the location that proposed existing utilities to show a mill overlay plan for open sections of the road, please. I certainly will, Madam Chair. Uh, Thank you. I was uh, just got back from a, a planning board meeting in Taunton, so I haven't had a chance to to call up the uh, the plans. If I could ask Evan, if he could just share the screen for me, Madam Chair. Sure. Uh, I can. Give me a second. Sure. So while I'm waiting for Evan, uh, as you said, Madam Chair, it's a, a proposed 18,000 square foot two-story building, 36,000 square feet in total uh, at 838 and 846 Belmont Street. And uh, the site is on Belmont Street, right across the street from a Sunoco station uh, between Clarendon and Lorraine, as part of the, to answer your question, Madam Chair, uh, as part, part of the mass dot reconstruction over the, the last few years of Belmont Street, a light was added uh, to the intersection of Linwood and Belmont Street. Mm -hmm. uh, so that light uh, really greatly improves our site. Uh, gives us a, a way in and out, out of our site without having to interrupt the flow of traffic on Belmont Street. Uh, as part of that construction, 
uh, Mass Dot left us two curb cuts, uh, one towards the west end of the top of the property as you see it, and one towards the uh, the eastern end or the bottom of the property as you see it. Uh, the eastern end didn't really work for us, and it also got us a little bit too close to the intersection. So we chose to go with the intersection uh, that you see in front of you uh, here, board members. Uh, as I said, in this existing curb cut, uh, already has the uh, the required uh, handicap ramp going over the sidewalk, uh, curb cut, granite curbing as uh, as required by MassDOT. So we don't have any work at all uh, proposed within that state highway layout, which is a big deal, as you know, with their uh, the moratorium they would have on on doing road work on a, a freshly constructed uh, surface. So because of that location of the curb cut, uh, at that point, they also brought in utilities going back a few years ago. They brought in water and sewer and stubbed them onto the property. Uh, so we don't have uh, any issues with, with tying into local utilities. Everything is already on our property. Usually uh, when we come before you with a, with a new site, we have to tie into the existing utilities in the public way in this case, that was already uh, thought of and taken care of uh, about four or five years ago. Uh, so getting to our site, Madam Chair, we, we went to tech review twice uh, and kicked things around. Uh, and really the, the biggest issues I think that we had originally were with, uh, with the fire department and uh, Deputy Chief Williams with some flow, uh, traffic flow issues. So we kind of uh, moved things around. We shifted the building uh, a little bit more towards Belmont Street and a, a little bit closer to the bottom right-hand corner. And that gave us a, a better flow of traffic and a, a better flow for emergency personnel. We also boxed off a area in front of the building uh, that would be for, for ambulance use. That was another thing that Deputy Chief Williams uh, mentioned that with these uh, these walk-in centers, uh, essentially there's, there's a, a lot of ambulance traffic throughout the day. Uh, and probably getting more with the the situation at, at Signature Healthcare. So they've been uh, seeing a lot of ambulance use. So that emergency drop-off will serve to get the ambulances out of the flow of traffic. Uh, we've got a 150 space wow. provided. Uh, so we feel like we have plenty of parking. The the gentleman would, would doing the work for, that's the, the applicant on this job, is a Dr. Patel. And Dr. Patel has a... Uh, a center that he just opened, I say just opened probably within the last couple of years in East Bridgewater. Uh, pretty much the exact same size building, the same use. So he's uh, pretty confident that he knows exactly what he needs uh, to provide the, the needed services for this building, for the, uh, the residents of the city and the surrounding area. Uh, we have well in excess of the green space we need. As I said, we have uh, access to all utilities on our site already. Uh, I, you know, I think we've done a, a pretty good job of, of laying anything in and and uh, answering all the questions that were brought up at Tech Review, and I'd be happy to answer any that you folks would have. Okay, so Rob or Evan, is the proposed utility showing on the plan as as requested? Yep. That's the correct plan. Uh, Must be yeah. shown with the mill and overlay planned for all open sections of road. So is it? Yeah. So, so Scott, you said you guys don't. You're you're they're stubbed onto the property, so you don't have to touch Belmont that, at all, right? That's correct. Okay, so that that'll make the mill and overlay irrelevant. Right. Okay. Um, where are the stubs right now, though? They come on here. Yep. There's a. Let me just see if we're on. Yeah, we're on the right page. Uh, right, right, it, right in the the as we're looking at here, the front right hand corner of the uh, of the property. The the sewer runs right there. There's an existing sewer manhole uh, that kind of falls right where we're going to be putting the building that was brought onto our property, a, a sewer manhole that the, the previous owner installed on our property. If you're driving by, you can see it. It's sticking out of the ground by about four or five feet. Uh, well, so the sewer goes right up to that manhole. We're going to be removing that manhole because obviously our building's going on top of it, but the sewer goes into it. And that, that's the sewer stub that we'll be using. 
Um, okay, is that is that shown on here though? Where is that? Yep, that's uh, right at the the top. Right standing the top, you know, looking at it here, the top right hand corner of the building where it says ten feet. Of, Just right here. Yep. Of that's 12, it. Okay. Thirty five. That's it right there. Okay. Madam Chair, could I ask a question? Um, sure, just one one second so I don't use, lose my train yeah. of thought. Um, so you said that Mass DOT left you two curb cuts. Um, so there are not existing curb cuts that need to be closed and the sidewalk restored? Uh, the sidewalk does not need to be restored because, the, you know, the way they do the curb cuts, uh, they ramp right up from the edge of pavement and then you have a... Uh, a level sidewalk. The sidewalks don't go up and down like a roller coaster like we used to do it. So uh, so because MassDOT constructed it that way, the sidewalk access is level all the way uh, all the way through Belmont Street. And uh, the curb cut, the, in this case, the curbing, where typically we would close the curbing, in this case, the curbing won't be closed. There'll just be uh, landscaping going up to the sidewalk. And with the sidewalk in between the boat. So does the department have any issues with the existing curb cuts? Um, yeah, so Scott, you guys can't, uh, like right here you're talking about, right? This exactly. and then correct. up here, correct? correct? And um, again, that would be mass DOT jurisdiction. So you guys are not gonna touch the, that, right? Exactly, okay. yep. And um, you said it's already flush from both sides. Okay. Correct. Um, no, that should be everything then, Madam Chair. So um, if I'm understanding this, the conditions have already been met and not an issue. Um, Marty, you have a question? Yeah, thank you, Madam Chair. Scott, good, good evening. Good evening. Um, if you could just tell me exactly where this is, like what, what it, it, I see Clarendon Ave and I see Lorraine. Yep. Is right. it across from the Sunoco station? Exactly. So the, the building just below ours is the white, uh, the white building. Uh, that has a banker of uh, Bank of America. I believe there's a hearing aid uh, store in there. Oh, okay. I know what you mean. Okay. Yeah, McMenamin right. is on the other side of uh, of the street. I was just trying to get oriented. Thank you. You're welcome. So it, it is right now. It's a vacant lot. There was a a a structure on it. I don't know. It probably got uh, got raised maybe 20 years ago. So it's it's just yeah. it's been a vacant piece of property for 15 or 20 years now. Nice. Uh, questions from other planning board members? Madam Chair, it's Larry. I do have a quick question because I think I asked this um, at tech meeting, Scott. The front building, I, I see the entrance. There's a notation for the entrance there. Is that there for a particular reason that it has to be there? Because I'm just wondering why somebody would walk out onto that front lawn down onto Belmont Street. And I know we talked about it but i forgot what the reason was yeah it's it's just because of the the utility room it'll be closed it won't be a uh, an entrance that's accessible to the public and uh okay. it would just be an emergency exit out of the building just because okay. of, of those things all right the way I, out of the building. I remind, okay thank you that was my only question thank you thank you madam chair you're welcome any other questions uh yeah can you clarify the primary it, so it's going to be a primary care Yes. Office and who's the who's the doctor again? Uh, doc, yeah, it's Dr. Patel. What's what's his first name? Uh A Cash. A K A S H. Okay, thank you. And he's like I said, he's he has a, a a facility just like this in East Bridgewater. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Chair, um, I have a question. So sure. Scott, are there any plantings? on the Belmont street side, like street view? We do, we have, uh, as you know, the planning department likes to critique our landscaping plan. So we do have uh, a few <laughs> trees proposed across the front and then uh, some screening around that gener uh, the transformer right in the front, Mr. Sweeney. So in addition to, to being a lot of green lawn, uh, there are uh, considerable plantings proposed right on Belmont street. Uh, in addition to throughout the, the parking area, but certainly a, a really a bunch along Belmont Street. Okay. And how about the lighting on the building? Any lighting on the building or anything? That's a very traffic street, one of our busiest. Yep. There is, uh, there is lighting. 
Yeah. So you have a page you want me to go to, Scott? Yeah, we that? should have lighting plan should be the last page, Evan. Uh, so there are there are there we go. Uh, which isn't a great illustrative at all, Mr. Sweeney. But in any event, there are there are building lights, uh, wall packs on the building, as well as uh, some parking lights to to provide uh, enough light for the for the parking area. Okay. And aesthetically from the street, are there any light considerations for on the front of the building, just the front? Like the I street? Think, yeah, I think there would just be that one over that emergency door and that would be it. Where the, the main entrance and the secondary entrance are on the, I guess you'd call it the side in the in the rear of the building as you're standing on Belmont Street. Okay. Could we consider putting something like that on the building? It's a considerable size building Certainly. to just light up the entrances. Sure. We can, uh, maybe even it off, one on one side, one on the other. That would be fine. We could say a third of the way and two thirds of the way down that front facing Belmont Street side of the building, if you'd like, Mr. Sweeney. Unless that, unless other members have an objection to that, I think it would make it look a lot better. <laughs> Agreed. No, no I, I agree, but I'm also wondering about the signage. Is it going to be illuminated? Is it on top of the building or streets side? Where's this? Is that what? Is that the sign in the middle and the top? Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure if it shows there, Madam Chair. It's certainly not mm. the not that big thing up at the top. That's a uh, no, it's the roof. Yeah, that's, that's that's for the utilities. But the, there'll be a sign on the on the face of the building, uh, you know, that conforms to the zoning facing Belmont Street. Will it be illuminated? To be honest, I don't know. I I would assume it would be, Madam Chair. Yes. Yeah, I would. I would think that it should be for the size of a building. Yeah. Um, I'm actually shocked that they're putting in the size of a building, but that has nothing to do with this plan. I'm just um, in healthcare and I see a bunch of vacant offices everywhere, including uh, well, one Pearl Street. Um, but anyhow, it would, Mr. Sweeney's right, being on Belmont, this needs to be well lit and um, a nice size sign that lights up as well. I would agree. We'll certainly add that to the plans. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other questions from the planning board members? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so it'll be two stories total? Correct. The, with yes. This image is what it's showing? Yes. Yeah, that's what's proposed. Mm -hmm. Two stories, 17,000 square feet. Correct. All right, is this um, open to the public? Rob or Evan, anyone from the public have their hand raised? Uh, members of the public, if you would like to comment on this plan, use the raise your hand icon button. Uh, or if you're on a phone, hit star nine and we can allow you to speak on it. Sorry, I was muted. It's all good. Um, it's just Matthew and I don't see them raising their hand, so. Chief Williams, you didn't have any questions, comments, or concerns? No, I'm all set, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, is there a motion? Motion okay. to approve. All right. Second. Second. Okay. Roll call, Larry Hassan? Yes. Yolanda Sweeney? Yes. Marty Crowell? Uh, yeah. Madam Chair, on the motion, yes. Do, do we want to specify can, like the conditions on this? Uh, well, you could with the lighting, but the three on the the staff report are uh, already been addressed, and they're not an issue. Okay, so can we add the lighting? Yeah, the lighting and the signage. So I'll go back then. Motion to approve uh, with the discussed uh, proper lighting for the exterior of the building and entryway. And I believe the signage is something they have to go to building for anyway. So I, you know, I, whatever they deem is appropriate. Hope I wasn't too lengthy. Thank you. Second that, Larry. Okay. So roll call, Larry Hassan. Yes. Yolanda Sweeney. James Sweeney. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Where did Yolanda go? Yolanda Spinola. Yes. Marty Crowell. Yes. Tony Gonzalez, yes. All right. All right. 
Thank you, Scott. Thank, Thank you, you very much, folks. Thank you, Scott. Awesome. Appreciate it. Have a good night. You good too. Luck. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion to adjourn. Make that adjourn. Do we have anything to sign tomorrow or? Um, right yes, it would be great Sorry. if you guys could come in with a few things for you guys. So they'll be ready tomorrow and when the following week? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. And the uh, attendance when um, Road sends it out, if we could sign that timely, please. Is there a motion to adjourn? I might send it out this week, um, this okay. meeting. Uh, All we'll right. see. Larry motioned, I'll second. All right. Larry Hassan. Yes. James Sweeney. Yes. Yolanda Spinola. Yes. Marty Crowell. Yes. Tony Gonzalez. Yes. Good night, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night, board. Good night. Good night.